There are many types of canines in the world, many of whom are known for being perfect matches with people as pets. Part of the fun of picking a dog is knowing the type you want and watching them grow up into fully-fledged dogs. But there are obviously dog types that you would not want as a pet, one of them being a wolf. While wolves do have an over-exaggerated reputation due to humanity's fear of them, it's still true that having one as a pet can be dangerous and some of them could harm you if you get too close. So what if you got a dog that could actually fight off a wolf? Here now are 20 dog breeds that can defeat wolves. Number 20. Dogo Argentino now, I'll fully admit that many of the dogs on this list are not exactly trained to take on a wolf, but that's not the question. The question is, is if they were to have to fight one, could they come out on top? In the case of the Dogo Argentino, the answer would most likely be yes. The Dogo Argentino is a pack hunting dog that's bred for the pursuit of big game such as wild boar and pumas who possess the strength, intelligence, and quick responsiveness of a serious athlete. So that alone showcases why this dog is one that could possibly take on a wolf because it also takes on creatures that are much bigger and more powerful than a wolf is. Plus, with its athletic build, it could chase down a wolf without a whole lot of issues. Just looking at the Dogo Argentino will give you the impression that it was meant to be a fighter. In fact, it was bred with certain desires in mind in terms of hunting, and they clearly have delivered on that front. These dogs are known for their balance and explosive power, and that makes it problematic for anything that it can be hunting. One of the ironies of the species, however, is that you really need to take care of them if you were to have one. These are dogs that are bred for the hunt, so thus they need tons of exercise and must be provided for them as they are not going to do certain things on their own. Check. That's why some say that having one of these dogs is not a privilege, it's a responsibility. So they're not exactly the best dogs to have as a pet, but if you do want something that can take on a wolf, you could do far worse than this dog. But if I can be blunt here, do you really need a dog that can take on a wolf? The answer to that question is most likely not. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Boer Bull. Now on to dogs whose names I most likely mispronounce, we have a species that has a few ironies that surround it. The Boer Bull is a dog that, like our previous entry, does have a look that's rather intimidating. They're rather stocky and you might not want to cross them out of fear of getting bit. But that turns out to be a good thing because these are dogs that can and have been used as guard dogs over the years. The twist here is that they can just as easily be one of the most loving and kind dogs that you would ever meet. Boer Bulls are intimidating but discerning guardians of the home and family who have learned their trade while protecting remote South African homesteads from ferocious predators. They're dominant and confident, but also bright and eager to learn. The imposing dog is devoted to protecting the people and places that it loves. I'm sure that many of you would be up for adopting one of these because that's the kind of home protector that you want. One that is completely loyal to you and your home and will help out while not being overly aggressive and annoying. But there are a few catches with this dog, as you may have guessed. If you're a first-time dog owner, you might want to avoid getting one of these. They're known to be rather territorial, and they'll wreck your home if you do not train them right. They need to have someone who will train them early to establish a bond and boundaries, but also be assertive with them so that they learn them quickly. Oh, and much like the last entry, you'll want a place that can let them cut loose and exercise to their heart's content. So if you do want this dog to be your protector from wolves, you'll have to settle for some trade-offs, but if you do work through them, you may as well just be fine. Number 18. Perro de Presa Canario while it may not be a name that 
exactly rolls off the tongue very well, the Perro de Presa Canario is a dog that you'll want to consider for your home should you need something to help protect it without much issue. This dog is a docile and affectionate dog. They are great family protectors and are bred to be family companions as well as guardians. So again, you do have a dog that is the best of both worlds in that they'll help your family to stay safe, but they'll also be your friend. You're going to need to be mindful of who the dog sees, however. For example, it's one that's known to be rather distrustful when it comes to strangers that enter into the family home. However, if you're able to show that you trust this stranger, so will the dog. As with all guardian-type dogs, early socialization and obedience training are a must. Occasionally, you'll have some dog aggression in this one, but with proper socialization and training, this is the exception and not the rule. To further enforce why these dogs are good for doing hard tasks, they've been put in various competitions and have come out well ahead of other breeds. It's also a dog that appreciates a pack mentality, and so if you establish yourself as its leader, it's going to treat you like a king. Number 17. The Turkish Kangal What's an easy way to determine if a dog is well suited to fight off a wolf? Well, having a large build is a good giveaway. Many dogs that you've seen, and will see, have a large size that helps when they're on the hunt. And the Turkish Kangal is no different. Powerful and protective, yet calm and controlling, the Kangal is aloof towards strangers and willing to take courageous action if necessary. So this is a dog that you'll be glad to have around at your side should you ever be in danger. But as you likely are expecting, it's also a dog that you're going to need to properly raise so that it doesn't cause any major issues for you. In this case, you'll want to make sure that the Turkish Kangal is social with other people and animals. They're also what you may call an independent thinker. They're smart enough to do things on their own, so one thing that you have to establish early is that this kind of thing is not a good idea, because if you allow them to do one bad thing, it could lead to them doing many others in the future. As for why they're good protectors, it's because the Turkish Kangal was raised to be a livestock dog. Their job was to protect the herd, which means that they may have crossed paths with wolves along the way. They were so good at their jobs that farmers could leave them alone with the herd and not have to worry about them doing something wrong. This dog has had to face many foes to protect its master's flock, and they clearly do a good job because they're still used for that purpose today. Number 16. Caucasian Shepherd Dog Here's another dog that's known for being a solid protector of the home and those who are within it. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is a big and shaggy dog that has a distinct look that many of you would want solely for that. The canine is bold, fearless, self-confident, and fierce when a threat is present, but it's also a soft and devoted, kind-hearted, and endearing dog to its family, including other family pets. Caucasian Shepherd Dogs were used for centuries to protect properties from trespassers, to guard the livestock from large and small predators like wolves and coyotes and for many other duties as well. Via their lineage, they're already well suited to take on wolves should that need arise, so if you have something that's worth protecting, this may well be the dog that you could rely on. It is true that in more modern times, they're more used as companion dogs and a kind of watchdog, however, don't allow that to fool you from what they're capable of. <laughs> Oh, and if the hair is a bit too much for you, there's a short-haired version of this dog as well that you can get. The long-haired versions were the type that were used in mountainous areas and other cold weather venues so that farmers could live there and have a proper dog that could handle the challenges as well as the cold. No matter what version of the dog you get, you're likely to be just fine with it. Number 15. Cane Corso Noble, intelligent, loyal, and strong, these are some of the most common words that are used to describe the Cane Corso, an Italian Mastiff of ancient lineage, and it won't be the last time you hear the word Mastiff on this list. And while those are some nice words, you may want to know more about the work that this dog has done during its deep lineage. If you must know, they were used as war dogs, large game hunters, guardians, farm workers, and more. That's the kind of resume that you just can't make up, one that you get to earn. And if you don't get your job completed correctly, you'll be replaced. But this dog was not replaced, so that should tell you something. 
These dogs have become so popular in recent times that they were labeled one of the top 25 dog species that people desire. Would you like to guess what I'd say next? Yes, it's a dog that you'll need to train very well. And also, if you're a new dog owner, you won't want to start off with this one. It's for your own good, but if you're an experienced owner, you'll find that this can be one of the most rewarding pets that you'll ever have. Once you've trained it, it'll be perfect for you to have fun with and also show love. Oh, and it will most definitely fight wolves. Number 14. Sarplaninac now, I'll admit this is a dog species that I've never heard of, nor am about to even attempt to pronounce correctly, but that's why I'm here. When you first see this dog, you may easily think, wow, that's a big and hairy dog. And that's a very fair statement to make in this case. The breed is a rather large one that will take some tender loving care. They were once bred to be protectors, and I hope that you're seeing the theme in this entire script. Yet now, they're known for being good pets if you are able to handle them well. The nature of this dog is typical of a shepherd dog. Courageous and self-confident, it faces the dangers that threaten its herd or its family. It makes decisions independently and is also otherwise a quite self-willed contemporary. So yes, not exactly a dog that's for everyone, but with the right mindset and experience, you'll be happy with one of these dogs. Number 13. The Armenian Gamper Dog now I'm going to talk about a really old dog species, and by that I mean one from ancient times. The Armenian Gamper is an aboriginal land race, livestock, and family guardian dog that dates back to what some would say is at least 12,000 BCE. That means that when you add in the AD timeline, it's a dog that's been around for a minimum of around 14,000 years or so. With an impressive blend of gentleness, discerning caution, courage, and immense power, the Gamper is known for its independent thinking and calm, its keen intellect, and is primarily used as a livestock guarding dog. Their lineage ensures that they're capable of living a long time, but also complete the job to get things done. So keep that in mind if you consider getting one. They can be an all-around fantastic pet for you and your family, as well as an able-bodied protector. Number 12. Alibi. While not as old as the last entry, I can say that the alibi are a long-lasting dog species as well. They're said to have been around for at least 5,000 years and have done a good job for their owners in that time. The species is a self-assured, balanced, quiet, proud, and independent dog, and they're very courageous, having a high working capacity, endurance, and natural instinct of territory. Focusing on the wolf element for a moment, these dogs are known specifically for being absolutely fearless against foes that may be bigger than them, so they won't be intimidated by a wolf coming into their territory. They're going to straight up challenge it. Then again, that also puts them in a bit of danger, so it's a dog that you're going to need to keep an eye on throughout its life, just in case. Number 11. The Tibetan Mastiff I told you that the Mastiff species would pop up again on this list, and here we have the Tibetan Mastiff. It's hands down one of the dogs on the list that could totally take on a wolf, and I say that because of its size alone. Tibetan Mastiffs are independent introverts who tend to be wary of strangers, but are loving and loyal to their people, which is obviously what you want in a dog. And if you're looking for a reason why they have so much fur, outside of looking fabulous, it's because they were literally born to exist in frozen areas like Tibet. At times, these dogs just go and snuggle up with their owners so that the person could stay warm, and the dog is basically a giant pillow. You do need to train them well in order to keep them from being too bossy, but the trade-off is getting a companion that will last you for life. Number 10. The Irish Wolfhound Remember how I said that a good way to tell if a dog is capable of fighting a wolf is to base it on its size? Well, if that's the case, the Irish Wolfhound is one of the best dogs to fight a wolf because it's the tallest dog on the block. What's more, it's a dog that, not unlike the Irish, are enduring and swift to get things done. 
They're totally capable of taking on large foes, which also includes the wolf. But just because it can take down a wolf does not mean that it's not an adorable and proud creature. These dogs have been known to get a noble yet sensitive attitude, and they are definitely the kind of dog that does things in their own way. They are a great and loving dog that will listen to you, but they'll do the task that you ask them, even if very slowly. Number 9. American Pitbull no doubt many of you have thought that the American Pitbull would be one of the top wolf fighting dogs on the list, given the reputation that they can sometimes have. But not unlike the wolf, the American Pitbull has an over-exaggerated reputation thanks to how people have perceived it over the years. It just goes to show that sometimes humans do not learn their lesson. It is true that nations like the United States and the UK have used them in various dogfighting rings, but those are dogs specifically raised to fight and attack with no mercy. <laughs> If you do get a properly raised version of this dog, or even raise them yourself in the proper way, you'll have nothing to worry about outside of your typical dog antics. Could they still take on a wolf? Well, more than likely yes, but if you have a pit bull, it's because you know that they can be a good pet and they simply want to sit on your lap and lick your face off. Number 8. The Rottweiler to be blunt, if I were to ask you the name of some dog species that you would think would be fully capable of taking on a wolf, the Rottweiler may well easily be one of the ones that you would name right off the bat. After all, these are dogs that are known to be intimidating, powerful, and have proven their biting power time and again. The Rottweiler is a robust working breed of great strength that has descended from the Mastiffs of Roman legends. It's the kind of lineage that anyone would be proud of, a gentle playmate and protector within the family circle, the Rottweiler observes the outside world with a self-assured aloofness, probably because they know that very few things can mess with them, and that includes a wolf. You may be surprised to hear that the Rottweiler is a great family pet, but that's because their reputation does not focus on that part of their personality. Most people only care about their more violent nature than the side that loves the family that they're attached to. But that violent side is only if you train them to have it. If you were to get the training of a Rottweiler done early enough, you'll be able to harness their instincts into a positive force for good. They're still a little bit territorial, but not to the extent that has been depicted in various films and television shows. Like many dogs that I'll discuss, the Rottweiler has to have tons of exercise to burn off the energy that exists. After all, if you don't do that, they'll likely turn that energy into your house, and you don't want that happening. And as long as you take the proper steps and do the correct training, a Rottweiler should make a fantastic pet for you and your home. Number 7. The Borzois. Perhaps you're looking for a dog that can run fast, if not faster, than a wolf and look incredible while doing so. Well, if so, then you may be interested in a Borzois another dog whose name I probably mispronounced. These regally defined creatures are one of the most unique dogs on the planet. Being tall and powerful, they can run up to 40 miles per hour if they're given enough space. These dogs were bred to be swift and tough enough to pursue and pin their ferocious lupine quarry, and again, look good while doing so. They're praised for their agreeable temperament, but they're also known to be stubborn at some points. It should be said that if you want one of these dogs, you do have to train them very early, but be patient and humorous as you work with them. And like most royals, it takes a while to get them on your side. Number 6. The Tosa when you have a dog that's known to be vigilant and fearless, you have a good combination to take on any threats that come its way. The canine is normally a tranquil, quiet, and obedient dog with a calm but vigilant demeanor. With a stately manner and robust build, they were formerly bred for fighting, but are now used as watchdogs. But just because they have a new role does not mean that they can't do right by you in a pinch. That can be proven when you find out that it has a very focused view of strangers, and if it thinks that someone or something is invading its territory, it'll get rather aggressive. However, they're not overly aggressive against people, so that's definitely a plus in the end. Number 5. Doberman Pinchers 
Much like the Rottweiler, the Doberman Pinscher is a breed of dog that many people could see taking on a wolf. They're dogs that were bred to be fierce guard dogs, and sometimes that means going up against things like wolves if you live in the right area. With their sleek coat, athletic build, and regal appearance, this pup looks like an aristocrat. They're highly energetic and smart dogs who perform well in police and military functions, canine sport, and as a family guardian and companion. And that is yet another reason why people associate them with being able to take on a wolf. They're not only guard dogs, but they're a dog that can help the military and the police. They do not just let any dogs into the force, you know. They have to be a certain breed in order to handle the training that they'll receive. Which is another reason the police and military enjoy them. Once they form a bond with their trainer or owner, they are basically unbreakable. They're one of the most loyal dogs that you can get, and that's what you want in a dangerous situation. However, it's also a bit of a dangerous situation if you try to adopt any old Doberman that you find. Once their popularity spiked, many people tried to breed them in big numbers, and that meant that these dogs were not properly handled or trained and were dumped off on anyone that could pay for them. They do have health health issues and a temperament that has to be acknowledged and adhered to, and they're not exactly the kind of dog to simply lay down and watch you have some fun. They want to be active, and they're definitely not afraid to bark. So if you do need a protector, consider a Doberman. If you want a nice family dog, perhaps you should look somewhere else. Number 4. Commodore now I'll say it, if you look at the Commodore, you definitely do not think that this dog could take on a wolf. It's one that looks like it's gone to a reggae concert and kept the hairstyle. Not that it looks bad, mind you. But while you may not think much of it thanks to its looks, the people of Hungary are indebted to this dog because they've used it as a flock guardian for countless numbers of years. What's more, that hair may actually be the greatest defense, as it hides what its body can do. The body of a Commodore is so powerful yet agile that it means that it can rush across a field to help someone or even take down a predator like a wolf should the need arise. Number 3. Bully Kuta the Bully Kuta is a species that is very popular in India, and it's so large and powerful that it's constantly compared to the Mastiff. It's a large dog breed at about 29 to 33 inches tall, and it can weigh anywhere from 150 to 200 pounds, and it tends to last around a decade. That also means you're going to have a pet dog that can protect you for some time in case a wolf decides to lurk around. But sadly, it's also another species that has been forced to endure the shameful practice of dog fighting. This would be because of their natural abilities, which have made them attractive to dog fighters for years. Thankfully though, if you were to get this dog, you would not partake in such a heinous act, and I'm sure that the dog would appreciate that. Number 2. The Wolf Dog now, I wonder if the wolf dog is a canine that could take on a wolf. Surely, I didn't just have it on this list just because it has wolf in the name. Well, no, that's not the case. The wolf dog is on this list for the simple reason that it is literally part wolf. This is a canine that is crossbred between a wolf and various other kinds of dogs. Typically, it's associated with wolves that breed with domestic versions, you know, like the kind that you would find in a pet store. Obviously, not all of them are in closed off areas, so sometimes they do meet a wolf and the wolf dog becomes the result. That's where the controversy comes into play though, because most people hear that the wolf dog is part wolf and may immediately believe that it's a beast of some kind. However, on the flip side, some people are willing to have it as a pet simply because it's part wolf. So what would be the correct answer? Well, it is somewhere in the middle, and that's why many people play the better safe than sorry card. Wolf dogs, by their genetic nature, are smarter than many dog species in the world. They are uniquely self-aware and able to have a sense of their environment. And if you were to take it in as a pet, you would be surprised at how much personality that they can show. Some would even define them as companions versus pets, and will exert their will at times, rarely laying down for their owner. The fear of the wolf dog is so great that many nations have actually placed a ban on it or have placed heavy restrictions, and to them, they will not risk having wolves of any kind, even if it's a hybrid nearby. Number 1. The Bull Mastiff 
I'm going to end this list with a dog that is big, bulky, and definitely could take on a wolf, though I'm just fine with the dog living a happy life without having to fight. Fearless at work, docile at home, the bull mastiff is a large and muscular guardian who pursued and held poachers in merry old England once upon a time. They're already used to going after prey at the behest of their masters. The bull mastiff is not quite as large as its close cousin, the mastiff, but still, it stands as high as 27 inches at its shoulders and weighs between 100 and 130 pounds. This is still a whole lot of dog. And that's something that should be taken into consideration if you do consider adopting it. Some of you may want to settle for a slightly smaller pet. Should you do get one of these dogs, the first thing that you'll want to do is train and establish control. That's why you'll definitely want to get one as a puppy so that you can exert your own will upon it before they decide that theirs is better than yours. Trust me, I know dogs can and will do that, so save yourself before it gets out of hand. Oh, and if you think that I'm joking about that poacher hunting thing, I wasn't. A bull mastiff has been doing that kind of thing for hundreds of years, as they're known for being very courageous dogs. They're also trainable enough to sneak up on a foe, hurt it, but not kill it, which I'm sure that many people would appreciate. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you should put this dog up against a wolf, but you could definitely do worse. That's all from the realms of dogs and revealing which ones could take on wolves if need be. Does hearing about these other species make you think about getting one for protection? And do you know of someone who has one of these dog breeds? Or do you know of another canine that should be on this list? Let us know about it down below in the comments section. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on your screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.